This is a birthday party at elderly care home He Yuejia in Beijing. With spacious rooms, nutritious food, and even dance shows on offer, staying here comes with a price tag of over 1,500 US dollars a month. Prices also vary depending on the level of care needed. Wang Yiguang is a retired scientist who moved into He Yuejia in 2018 with her husband. After all, I'm old and my children are not around. Here, there is someone here to help you at any time, and a doctor can tell you if you need to go to the hospital, so I feel a lot more at ease. China had 264 million citizens aged 60 and older in 2020, a number set to increase rapidly just as the working population shrinks. Experts says until recently, Almost all elderly people were looked after by relatives. But shrinking families, migration and a decline in a sense of filial duty has led to the, quote, erosion of family support system. That's when government started subsidizing care home facilities. More than 40,000 registered homes have been built in recent decades. But the average occupancy rates are as low as 50 percent, according to official data, far lower than the 80 to 90 percent rates seen in Japan or the UK. Experts say this is down to China's relative lack of wealth, high fees and lack of qualified carers. China planned a decade ago to train 6 million caregivers by 2020. Just 300,000 were qualified by 2017 according to a report cited by state new agency Xinhua. For families like Ne Guihua's, they simply cannot afford care homes. Her husband had a stroke at 55. He can no longer speak and uses a wheelchair. You ask me whether I'm worried about getting old, but what can I do? I don't have much money. The country gives me 800 yuan a month, and it's enough for buying food but it's not going to be enough if I get seriously ill in the future. Even if the family could afford care homes, Ne's responsibility of taking care of her two grandchildren would make it impossible.